In the vast landscape of television history, certain shows stand out for their lasting impact and cultural significance. One such pioneer from the late 1950s is a series that left an indelible mark on the Western genre, Bonanza. This iconic TV show, known for its long and successful run, has etched itself into the collective memory of audiences. As you reflect on the episodes that unfolded on the Ponderosa Ranch, one might wonder, is there a particular scene or moment in this series that has had a lasting impact on you? The narratives of the Cartwright family, their struggles and triumphs resonated with viewers across generations. Beyond its entertainment value, Bonanza has a unique ability to inspire and influence lives. Can you share a personal story of how this TV series has impacted or inspired you? The enduring appeal of Bonanza lies not only in its storytelling, but also in the values it conveyed a testament to the power of television to shape perspectives. Now, let's delve into some interesting aspects of Bonanza that you might find intriguing. Did you know that the show held the distinction of being the first hour-long Western on primetime television? This groundbreaking format allowed for more intricate storylines and character development, setting a new standard for the genre. As we explore the rich tapestry of Bonanza, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this timeless series. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, connecting fans through shared experiences. So whether you recall the iconic theme music, the camaraderie of the Cartwrights, or a plot twist that caught you by surprise, your stories contribute to the enduring legacy of Bonanza. Share your thoughts and let the conversation unfold. During Bonanza's first season, guest stars earned more than the main cast, as producers doubted the latter's popularity. Michael Landon, later a key figure, faced initial challenges in script writing. According to producer David Dortort, Landon's behavior turned difficult in the show's last seasons, disrupting the production with constant story conferences. Despite this, Landon's persistence paid off, and he became a regular writer and director. His impact extended beyond Bonanza as he reworked scripts for Little House on the Prairie. The show's dynamic, from financial concerns to creative challenges, shaped its trajectory. Bonanza's evolution mirrored the changing dynamics within its cast and crew, capturing the essence of its time. In a Television Archives interview, songwriters Ray Evans and Jay Livingston recalled their unexpected windfall from the theme song they crafted for a Western television show. They initially told the show would last just one year, they agreed to a modest pay due to uncertain longevity. However, when the show defied expectations and became a massive hit, Evans and Livingston retained the rights to the song, reaping millions in rewards. The opening burning map of the Ponderosa Ranch added an interesting twist to the show's visuals. Initially drawn without compass points, the map's orientation appeared incorrect. Despite suggestions to redo it, producer David Dortort opted to add compass points, aligning them with magnetic north instead of true north. This unconventional choice has intrigued viewers over the years. From the third season onwards, cost-cutting measures shaped the wardrobe choices on the show. The Cartwrights and other recurring characters consistently wore the same clothing in nearly every episode. This decision aimed to reduce expenses by allowing the reuse of previously shot stock footage for action scenes, providing a practical solution to financial concerns. These behind-the-scenes details, from unexpected financial gains to unique production decisions, offer a glimpse into the multifaceted journey of the iconic TV series. Bonanza's path was shaped not only by its on-screen drama, but also by the intriguing dynamics off-screen, reflecting the challenges and triumphs that marked its enduring legacy. Dan Blocker, renowned for his portrayal of Eric Ross Cartwright in the 1959 TV series, ventured beyond acting to establish the Bonanza Steakhouse chain in 1963. Naming it after the show, Blocker's entrepreneurial endeavor grew into a notable brand. Interestingly, this venture continued its legacy even after Blocker's time on the show concluded. The Steakhouse chain, later sold to Metromedia in 1989, became part of a broader acquisition that included the Ponderosa Steakhouse chain. This strategic move by Metromedia, unifying both establishments, reflected a unique connection to the iconic Western series. Blocker's influence extended beyond the screen, leaving a lasting mark on the dining landscape. This unexpected off-screen venture adds a distinct dimension to the enduring legacy of the show, showcasing the multifaceted impact of its cast members. Pernell Roberts, known for his Shakespearean stage background, brought a unique influence to Bonanza. 
During the sixth season, in the episode Woman of Fire, Roberts showcased his theatrical prowess by parodying Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew. His character, Adam Cartwright, cleverly quotes from the play while playing matchmaker to actress Joan Hackett. This departure from typical Western themes reflected Robert's desire for more adult themes and inclusion of interracial actors on the show. Interestingly, several cast members had Mexican-American or Italian backgrounds. The series faced a casting challenge when Roberts decided to leave. Guy Williams, a former Zorro star, was brought in as cousin Will Cartwright to replace him. However, Michael Landon's insecurities led to Williams being fired after just five episodes. Landon, determined not to work with someone he considered more attractive and charismatic, insisted on his friend Victor French taking the role. This decision added an unexpected twist to the show's casting dynamics. These behind-the-scenes developments, from Robert's Shakespearean influence to the casting controversies, provide a deeper understanding of the complexities that shaped Bonanza. The series, known for its Western themes, navigated unexpected challenges and creative influences throughout its run, leaving a lasting impact on television history. Ranked as the second longest running Western TV series, Bonanza holds a lasting place in television history, surpassed only by Gunsmoke. Continuously airing in syndication, the show's enduring popularity speaks to its impact on audiences over the years. Intriguingly, Michael Landon's influence on the cast went beyond his on-screen role. He played a pivotal part in the departure of Guy Williams from the series, showcasing the behind-the-scenes dynamics that shaped the show's narrative. This unexpected turn of events added a layer of complexity to the casting, revealing the challenges faced by the production team. The 1973 book Marilyn Beck's Hollywood sheds light on the financial success of the main cast. Pernell Roberts' decision to leave the series was met with Lorne Green's prediction of immense wealth for the remaining trio. The financial windfall, distributed among Green, Landon, and Dan Blocker, showcased the economic impact of Bonanza on its lead actors. This unique blend of longevity, casting intrigues, and financial success provides a comprehensive view of the multifaceted journey of the iconic Western series. The influence of key cast members and the unexpected twists behind the scenes contribute to the enduring legacy of this television classic. As we draw the curtain on this nostalgic journey through the golden landscapes of a bygone era, one cannot help but marvel at the timeless allure of that 1959 TV gem. As the embers of memory flicker, we invite you to take a moment and dance with the echoes of Bonanza's tales, each episode a brushstroke painting the canvas of the American West. The Ponderosa, a crucible of family ties and untamed frontiers, resonates not just on screen, but within the recesses of our own narratives. What tale does it conjure for you? A dusty afternoon spent in the glow of a cathode ray tube or a cherished family gathering with the familiar strains of the theme lingering in the air. In this age of fleeting trends, Bonanza stands as a testament to the enduring power of narrative, weaving a tapestry of courage, camaraderie, and the untamed spirit that defines us all. As you tread the corridors of your memories, share with us the hues that Bonanza painted in your heart. Whether you found solace in the sagas of the Cartwrights or discovered a kinship with the sprawling landscapes, your reflections breathe life into the legacy of a show that transcends time. So, dear reader, unveil the chapters of your personal Bonanza narrative, for in sharing, we perpetuate the magic that once graced those black and white screens. Thank you for joining us on this expedition into the heartland of nostalgia, where the flames of Bonanza still warm the hearths of countless souls. Until our narratives entwine again, take a bow to your memories etched forever in the pages of television history.